Yo guys, Kurt here. So last time, on the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we started in the Linnea Mining Facility. Uh, we made it pretty far into it, but we still have a long ways to go, so let's keep moving forward. Oh, I just realized I have... There's probably background noise because I left the fan on. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Do I need to restock on anything? A rupee. I'll take a rupee. Uh, bombs. Uh, we're probably full on bombs, but that's fine. We'll take it. Let's see if there's anything under... Hey! Let's get out of here. Cool. Uh, what is this? Does this just open that door? Okay, this just opens the door. Now, as always, whenever you get these large pits of sink sand, uh, or, well, this is different from the other ones, I suppose. This is like uh, outside where you can see the path in the sand uh, like you could outside when we were traveling across the desert. Now we want to go over here and- oh hi. Do you, you want to fight? you want to fight, bud? Blow the heart away. Wait, can I actually get it to land? Did it land? Hold on. I managed to make that heart land. Oh, no, I didn't. Apparently, it just doesn't sink. Well, oh, I made it. Cool. Good grief. I thought hearts would sink, but I guess not. But yeah, uh... Over here, we have ourselves a little crawl space to get through. Let's see if there's anything in here for us. That's a dead end. Oh, right over here, there is a chest. Yep, I figured walking into a small crawl space, or going through a crawl space like that, there would be enemies hiding on the ceiling. Hey, an ember relic. Cool, we need that, right? All right. Oh, and one of those guys dropped a jelly blob behind the chest, so I'll have to pick that up after we get a golden skull. I will take it. I will take it. We are getting really lucky with some of our treasure drops. Uh, did that rupee disappear right before I picked it up? Why does that keep happening? Oh, hey, another rupee. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it any other... I think we've only ever been in a crawl space once or twice before this. Uh, you can dash through these. Um, unfortunately, you don't get a whole lot of stamina uh, for doing so, but it can't be helped either, I suppose. Uh, this one goes like this, and then... Ooh. Don't mind me, I'm just walking by. Uh, get up there, Link. What the heck? Nothing there. Hi, friend. Could you not be in my way? Uh, there's another coal space behind that sand. So let's see what's back here. Let's see. Nothing. Wow. This one's very... Ooh, hey, Rupee. I'll take that. And over here... Still going. This path is huge! Oh, another rupee. Also, these tunnels have to be pretty big for Link to be able to turn around like I've been doing. Like, let's let's be real here. These tunnels aren't that ju- Where am I? Oh! Wait. Did I go? Why is that there, then? I didn't realize I was moving forward here. So in this room, it's uh... Can I get him to walk over these spikes? Hold on. Oh! Okay! I wasn't expecting that to work! Um, so as y'all can tell, the main gimmick of this room is you gotta clear out the dust uh, in order to see where the spikes are. Uh, spikes apparently can kill that, those guys. I bet you. Which, this will probably get me blown up.
Ah, whatever. I'll let you do your thing. Can you not be here? I hear a rupee. If I remember correctly, there is a chest in here somewhere. Actually, I think I just saw it on the map. Three. These guys are everywhere. Oh, hey! We're gonna have so many jelly blobs when we leave here. It's gonna be insane. Lot of dust to clear out. There are spikes here. I didn't know if there were or not. Let's see what we got. Okay, having the rupees in this is a little bit annoying because apparently if your air touches the rupees, it just stops the airflow altogether. There we go, that's what I really wanted. I'm trying to remember where the chest is at. I believe it's underneath the sand. I could look at the map and just get a guarantee, like, oh, it's right over here. But I want to do this manually for some reason. Ooh, that was close. That almost blew me up. Hey, a fairy. Uh, we did put our other fairy away, but I want to keep... Can I not... There. Good grief. That was being difficult. Oh, I can't just run over there right now. Uh, where's my way across? Hey, a switch. I want that jelly blob, though. Okay. Ow! Oh, is it gone? That didn't last very long. Man, stuff disappears quick in this game. Well, we got another red rupee. So this is where that chest was at, of course. You, you, yeah. Well, I'd say you would think you would realize. Are you gonna, would you go away? Thank you. Cool. I forgot what I was saying, because that guy distracted me. I was going to say, you'd think these bugs would realize uh, that they're spike. They're not. I don't know if they're bugs or not. They look like bugs. I'm going to call them bugs. But uh, you'd think they'd realize the spikes come out of the ground. And I was like, wait a second. They're just bugs. They're not super intelligent. Okay. So, we want to knock the dust off of this guy here. And you can see in the middle of this is a time shift stone. So, if we hit it it will automatically, uh, or it will turn everything into present, or er, past time, rather, and will automatically start moving. You can see the path this thing's gonna take right away, uh, so we want to get ready, because you can see enemies that are, uh, are of the past. Hi. Wait, can I just... Oh, I hit the thing. Oh, I gotta take care of these guys now. Okay, come on, buddy. Uh, excuse me? Okay, good. It just automatically shoots another rocket. Yay, I should be able to get most of these rupees. Or not. They scattered really far. Okay. Whatever. We got another one of these pinwheel devices to get rid of. Or, not get rid of, but to spin. Um, now that... Uh, on that side there is a Bemo statue. We actually can't do anything about it. So we just want to hide from its vision. Yep. Ow. Okay. This Beemos is right in the middle, so we can get rid of it. Creep. That one... I still got hit. I wasn't trying to get hit. Oh, uh, two more Beemos on this side. Of course, as I said earlier, we just want to... Hide. 
that one saw me because I walked not correctly. But yeah, as you can see, their beams don't affect the stone, so we can just... Oh, I can't do that until the... Okay. Oh. Alright, well. That guy died, I guess. Got another pinwheel that we can spin now that the time shift stone is over here. And we can move forward. Let's see what we got over here. We can push that guy into the void. And we have another time shift stone minecart over here. So, but there's a ladder. I wanna, what, what's up the ladder? Oh, nothing for me apparently. Cool. Let's go. Now, do I want to go... Ah. This, this will be interesting. This might take me a few attempts. But what it looks like we want to do is... Spin that pinwheel to open up this door. I'm going to take care of this Beemos first. Uh, excuse me, horizontal. Grab the rupee. And then we just gotta wait for this guy. Okay, we have plenty of time to do this. That's not that difficult. Alright, then we want to come and push him over this way. But I think we have to reset it completely, so... Give it a quick little step. Let's see if there's any rupees here. One rupee. Ooh, that almost... Oh, good grief. I'm trying to... I was trying to cancel the item while pulling out my sword. But pulling out the sword canceled that. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go. Was the item out in the first place? Why did I even do it? I don't know, man. I... I don't even know. I... I love this game, but it seems I'm having a lot more issue with the controls when I'm trying to record than almost any other time I've played this game. I've never actually really had issues with the control scheme until I started trying to record it. Uh, broken ladder over here. Uh, do you be careful about these wind drifts. They will push you off. Uh, cool. Normally, you could just go underneath them, but apparently I can't do that today. Come on. Now, these guys we're not going to be able to hit normally, so we're going to want to, yeah, push them off. Why am I not leaping? Oh, good grief. It does still drain stamina to sit still on these, so make sure you have enough to get around. Uh, first time we're dealing with... Well, okay. Those are the electro keys that I was talking about. Let me see if I can get their description real quick. Basically just normal keys, but they... Thunder keys. They're called thunder keys. Uh, found in desert habitats, these winged monsters attract are attracted to dark places such as caves. Their internal organs generate electricity for attacking prey. They often gather in colonies, are active at night, and sleep in the day. Those who come too close and awaken them are often often fall victim to attack. Very strong. I would hope so. They are one hit enemies. What? Okay, that was weird. Uh what does this do? Did I just bring that over here? Oh, okay. Cool, I guess. Uh, we can't do anything with that yet, so let's just hop down. Spikes. I want that heart now. Don't disappear. And we got nothing there. All right. So let's just keep making our way across this room. There we go. That's how you roll and meet those. I just can do earlier. Wait. Where do I go? I'm very confused. We can't go up on that, right? There should be a block at... Yeah, there's a block at the top of that, so we can't go up. 
Um, I could bring that thing over, but I didn't see... There's going to be a time shift stone up above, isn't there? Yes? Oh my goodness, I'm just really dumb. That's what it is, is I'm just really, really dumb. Yeah. Ooh, yes, I'll take a heart. Yeah. Okay, now we can go across, and we've got some more dust to get rid of. And, yep, got another time shift stone, so let's hit that. There's a ladder leading to this right away. Oh, no, that ladder was broken in the past. That's right, or in the present. Whatever time frame. Uh, so, got some more Beemos to take care of as we are crossing the room. Apparently, you can stab those. I thought you had to do a horizontal, horizontal slice for those, but I guess not. Be careful as you're going past this. Oh, good grief. Okay, there we go. Hey, bombs. Now we can go across here. Which way does it need to go? It needs to go this way. We got another centrobe over here. Let's get rid of it. Hopefully we get some rupees out of this. Oh hey, there's another Beemos down there on rollers. Can I Skyward Strike this? Oh my god, you can Skyward Strike it to make your life a little bit easier. That's so nice to know. I almost missed that, but okay. Give me that red. I guess I'll take some greens. Whoops. Whoop. And let's push this guy down to here. Now there is a puzzle here. What they want you to do is take all these walls down. Uh, but I will show you all that you don't necessarily need to. Because the way it's given... You can actually see what the puzzle is without, um, without, okay, I guess I just need one push. So if we look at it from here, you can see there's two hanging out of that one. We can only see two from there, but we can't see anything from there. Well, the way they did that... I'm pretty sure everyone can tell what the puzzle is, so we're gonna we're gonna blow that up. We're gonna hop up, and we're gonna go ahead and strike that. Then we're going to no, no, no. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up. But we don't want to strike that guy yet. Then we can hop off, uh, open up this last one. I'm gonna see if I can do this with the beetle. Because if I can do this with the beetle, it'll actually make our lives a little bit easier. So we want to strike that guy. And then we're going to fly the beetle into this last one. There we go. Now, what that was, was behind those doors are symbols showing uh, which one you want to hit in what order. So that one that we can't see only has one symbol behind it. Uh, we can tell that because we can't see it over the, the door. The one that was open was two, and then the one, of course, that we can see above it had three. Uh... Oh, hi. I forgot you were down here. Yeah, we can go ahead and just get rid of this Beemos. Uh, not too difficult. And now that we've... Uh, since I moved that block beforehand, we can actually just jump down. Uh, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to do that than to... Ooh, this room. 
It's a little bit easier to do to jump down and go up the ladder than it is to take that thing back just because this is a really good item, don't get me wrong. Oh, that was already open. You didn't stab! Oh! See, there's that lunge attack that I was talking about. Could you... There we go. Yeah, so they have a lunge attack after you take out one of the things. Why are you not stabbing? Woo! There. Good grief. I can't get Link to stab, apparently. Uh, it is possible to take them out in one cycle. I just can't get a stab out, apparently. Oh, excuse me. But here we have the ancient circuit. It's made of shining gold. It also looks like it may be part from apart from something. The surface is inlaid with circuitry. Cool. With that, ooh, hi. I'm assu yeah, I was gonna say I'm assuming these are just hearts and rupees in these ones since we had to fight those two armors. Yep. Uh. Uh, so we need to get back over to there. So I guess we'll take the intended route of, uh, okay, jumping straight into the void. Cool. We'll take the intended path of running across. Uh, I might not have enough. Nope. I'm... I'm not terrible at this game, I promise. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. I made it! Oh, now that's actually difficult. Good grief. The fact that you have to time out the, uh... The, uh... Oh, what is that guy called? The, the air gust, that guy. Good grief. I... I promise y'all, I, I don't know why I'm being this way today. Grab that rupee. Uh, you can save here if you need to. You don't necessarily need to. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. So, of course, I don't even know if we can go so fast that we would be in the wind gust. But you don't want to be in the wind gust. Uh, once this guy crosses, then, uh... You're actually in the clear. What's all this? Oh, hi! Uh... Well, I didn't mean to throw that up. I wanted to roll it. Yay, he's done. Couple hearts. We got ourselves... Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Master, look at this. There's a great door here that is locked tight. It is only logical that something of great importance likely rests behind this door. Because, you know, we haven't seen this door twice before. Uh, technically, I think they do that for if you see it in the past. It'll have a grate over it. There's no way this is actually... Okay, no. Uh, so that needs to be flipped then? Ow. I didn't do it. My, wait. Ah, found it.
thousand year arachnid, Moldorak. This guy has two very giant claws. I don't like the way this boss looks. Uh, every once in a while, one of the claws will turn red, signaling that he's going to attack. Uh, if he does try to attack, just backflip. He won't be able to hit you that way. And just keep pummeling out these, uh, the eyes inside the skull. Or, inside the, 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 the claw. I can't see that. Uh, every once in a while he will use, uh, his tail to attack. There we go. I do believe he can shield bash the claws. Okay, you cannot. Uh, he didn't do any damage, but I guess I didn't let him hold on for that long. Uh, once you take out the two claws, he will open up his main eye. And he'll dig underneath the surface. The only way to attack this eye is to stab it. And whenever he tunnels under, you just want to use the gust bellows to... Ow. Good grief. I forgot how annoying this guy was. There we go. A few stabs to the eye, and he is done for. We got another heart container. Your life has increased by one and is also now fully replenished. Okay, I just love this room. If my being silent up to this point said nothing. This, whenever I first got here, I, this room was amazing. <laughs> You're 
Grace quickly to the gate. Link! Link, here, you'll need this where you're going. You got the goddess's heart, but there's no time to admire it. Go, now! Link, am I late? No, you're right on time. Hey. Link, you must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She'll know where you must go. I know that we will. <laughs> I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Link. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time you met, but instead I was soft. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. Senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating you'll deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. A report, Master. I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Thank goodness! Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the Sealed Temple. Whoo boy! That scene! This, the whole build-up... Now, I will admit, Linnea Mining Facility, not my favorite dungeon. But, the way they finish off this area with so much intensity. It j oh, man. That is one of the reasons why this is my favorite area is because of the storytelling. That's why this is one of my favorites of the games, as I've said. And we're not even too... I mean, don't get me wrong. It's probably one of the best... Ooh, hi. Probably one of the best cutscenes in the game, but definitely not the end of the wonderful storytelling this does. For a Zelda game that has excellent st storytelling, they don't really do that. They don't really do that. Uh, so, you know, definitely this one of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, before we end it, it looks like we got ourselves a friend here. Hi, friend. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there's a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find the way it had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. Hey, we're about to go to the sealed ground soon. Hi! Hi! I was about to go cut grass. Why are you here? Go away. I don't want you. Yeah. Will you drop me money, though? You know what? Nah, I'm not even gonna deal with him. We're gonna call it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time on the Legends of the Skyward Sword, we will be heading back to... Hold on. Uh, of course, I gotta check for more But I hear a cicada now I think about it. Y'all know I can't go home without collecting all the things. Is there anything on this wall, just to be sure? Nope. I'm surprised this guy stayed after all that explosion. Next time, we will be going back to the sky. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's any more preparations to do. I, of course... I'm surprised he did not run. Uh, there might be more preparations to do. I'm not entirely sure. I hear you. Try me again, buddy. Yaw. Okay. Uh, there might be more preparations to do. I will be making sure of that off-camera, of course. 
And then, of course, we will go see the old lady at the sealed grounds. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, hey, in peace. I'm sorry that I get so distracted. Uh, I'm too far away. That's going to take forever. I get distracted easy. I can't help it. I I'll, I'll say goodbye. I promise. I promise. I promise. Uh, next time, though, we will be going see to see the old lady at the sealed grounds. Uh, see what she has to say about how this situation has transpired. And we will be moving forward from there. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.